guys, welcome back to this week's episode. So, so in the intro this week, I'm, I'm test driving these um, uh, these display display cases. Um, they're actually originally meant to be jewelry display cases. So they've got a PE film um, inside this plastic border, um, which is it's a polyethylene film uh, that they that they uh, encased in in this in this. Um, uh, in in this box that, that clips open, and um, the film has sort of a, a, a stretchy um, uh, texture to it, so you so you can you can actually float something inside. It's originally meant for jewelry, but obviously with us high cost collectors, we're always looking for something to display our cars in. Um, uh, there's a couple of guys uh, on Instagram if you if you've seen them recently that that have uh, have tried different shapes and sizes. You get them in in square boxes. I first saw them on uh, Happy Diecasts uh, channel. I, I think he was he was probably one of the first ones to sort of try it out with his cars and and it, and it quickly caught on. Um, so I did, I, I, just deci- I decided to get two of the rectangular ones. Um, because I thought, yeah, that they might actually be nice to you if you wanted to double up some cars, um, make up some interesting pairs, um, and and you can you can do whatever. Uh, you get some of these that come with display stands, so you can stand them upright on a desk. Uh, the rectangular ones come with a little base, we but you can only display it, I think, uh, in sort of a diamond shape. So um, I wasn't too keen on the singles. I thought the um, if you could fit a few a few cars in there, it might might make a nice display. Um, I took the ones without the stands, uh, as I originally thought I'd I'd stick them up against the my cup, put a couple against the wall behind me. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna open these up and uh, and put a few cars in, and we'll see how see what it looks like. Um, I've 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 had this for a while, but I haven't opened it yet, so, so I'm I'm really test driving it myself this week. Um, okay, uh, let's have a look at these. Okay, I decided to get the two pack. Um, I have I've got some idea of what I want. I've got something else completely that I want to put in one of them. And I thought I'd try to try two of them out for um, f- for cars. They are a bit dusty, but they clip open like so. And then you can, yeah, that's uh, it. Feels very thin. But I've seen I've seen people stretch excess here in the corner. Um, I've seen people stretch them out by actually putting cars in, like sticking out towards uh, towards the front of the of the display. So you don't have to put them in sideways. Uh, I've seen guys put them in every which way and also a couple of different scales. So they they tend to stretch quite a bit. I don't know, however, if if it actually returns to its original. Uh, uh, state um, like unstretched. If you take them back out again, they are a bit dusty, but it is just surface dust. So they clean off pretty well. Um, so yeah, if, if I take two, let's grab two. Then you can obviously build your own, build your own little theme. Oh yeah, they they already stick to. To the cars as you put them in. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. There you go. Nice floating display. You can stick these on the wall. You can make them stand upright. I mean, the the base is pretty thick, uh, so you can they can easily stand by itself. Um, but yeah, this is this is pretty cool. It creates that. That that floating sort of look, um, no strings attached. Uh, so these are these are pretty cool. I like these. This is going to work. Like I said, I took the the, the larger ones. Um, you can probably at a at a stretch, if you pardon the pun, fit three cars in here. But if you've got nice nice cars to double up, um, you, you could. Oh, you could I think you could fit. Put some nice pairs in here. Um, I think if you've if you've got two or three, you can you can you can display a whole like car culture set, five cars set, uh, including the chase. If you if you're so inclined to open them up, uh, you can display six cars and two or three of these. Uh, it could make quite quite the striking um, striking display. I'm gonna try a, a couple more 
combinations and uh, yeah I got these on at a local uh, online retailer so if I that doesn't really I think matter where you are in the world if you're looking for these you'd be searching for uh, PE film or polyethylene film uh, display boxes uh, so you usually they'd be described as jewelry cases uh, so this is sort of a floating display for for jewelry or supposed to be um, but yeah if, if you're looking for for these specifically uh, you can just search for PE film I got this from an online retailer I've also seen guys uh, find them at their local shops uh, any place uh, that sort of sells bulk um, stands for jewelry or a lot of lots of costume jewelry uh, you might get lucky with, with some of these as well um, so yeah I'm gonna try a couple of different ones and then see uh, see which combinations we can get come up with Yeah, that's it for this week's video um, yeah I think highly recommended uh, these seem to work very well um, like I said uh, if you want to find your own just uh, do a quick Google search for PE film display boxes or jewelry display boxes uh, I think you should get to the right stuff I'll try and include some links down below for South African viewers um, I'll, I'll link to where I found mine um, like I said I, I think there are a couple of guys that found these just at local shops um so so they are sort of seems to be readily available but they yeah from from first look uh they seem to work very well uh, so i'm going to play around with a few different combinations like i said i've got i've got a few other ideas things uh trinkets and, and collectibles that you can that you can stash in here so i'm going to try that and they might be appearing on a wall behind me uh pretty soon all right uh that's it for this week i'll, I'll see you guys again next week keep well keep safe yeah.